Hey guys, this is Vane Life Tripping, and today I want to tell you why I think the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica is probably one of the best stealth camping or van camping options available today. So the first reason why I think my 2017 Chrysler Pacifica is probably uh, one of the best stealth camping options out there is just look at it. On the outside, it is a completely forgettable vehicle. It is a, a luxury, semi-luxury minivan, which could be parked pretty much anywhere and not seem out of place. It already has dark tinted windows, which I think all the Pacificas I've ever seen already have dark tinted windows. Uh, you are not going to attract any attention in this van whatsoever. If you park it somewhere that people are already parked, no one's going to notice you. They will walk right past you while you're eating, sleeping, working, uh, watching TV, playing video games, and not see you whatsoever. It's really what you're looking for with stealth. Don't be noticeable, just be forgettable. And this is about the most forgettable vehicle I can think of. So let me explain real quick about the kind of stealthing I like to do. And my philosophy is be forgettable and park somewhere where there are already vehicles parked anyways. So that could be a 24-7 big box store, uh, that could be an auto parts, uh, auto repair place after hours, or uh, another option is uh, hotels. If you park at a hotel after hours, no one's going to even think about your vehicle being there. And really, you blend in more and more as the night goes on, whereas if you park at like a Walmart, as the night goes on, you stick out more and more. Uh, so I recommend parking places where people don't actually uh, think a vehicle would be out of place after hours. Another great feature of this van is if you look inside that sunroof, that's a panoramic sunroof. That means I can have the windows covered, I can have everything blacked out, but still have natural light coming in. One of the things I'll do is if I pull into a parking lot, I'll open that covering and allow the street lights or the lights inside the parking lot to light the inside of the van and I don't even need to have any sort of LED lights going. Uh, it doesn't draw any attention whatsoever and it's enough light to do what I need to do. It's also great for ventilation. That whole area opens up here and I can have a lot of ventilation and not draw any attention whatsoever. So now let's go in the inside and talk about how I have my van set up. So this is a pretty nice van. It has a lot of the creature comforts, heated seats, leather seats, um, and I kind of take advantage of them wherever I can. One of the big things I do is we have the stow and go flip down seats. So this becomes my desk right here. In the back, I have a seat that is, this is my seat during the day. So if I'm not sleeping and I'm sitting in the back, this is probably where I'm spending my time. And this whole section right here flips down the split seat and this stow and go seat is laid down. This is way more uh, than what I need. I'm six foot tall, so I'm kind of a tall guy. And I lay this pad out right here and I have plenty of length. This is a six foot pad. As you can see, there's space up at the top there's plenty of space over the top if I need to store stuff. I'll lay my sleeping bag out. I have a pillow there and it's incredibly comfortable. Great place to sleep. Better than sleeping inside of a tent. I can guarantee that. Now let's talk about the stow and go seating. Uh, this is a fantastic feature that gives me a lot of flexibility. I can have a bunch of seats or I can have a bunch of storage. Um, everything is flat. So if you look, the seat is flipped down and there's no seat over there. In reality, that is actually folded into the floor. So underneath these mats, pressing this button here, make the seat slide up. And then underneath these mats, these can be kind of a pain to roll out of the way. Always always keep one of these in the car when you need to clean the condensation from the inside of the car absolutely great really handy in the mornings 
But opening this up. You have just a lot of storage underneath here. My latch is actually broken. So I keep my bag. Uh, this is where I keep my clothes, any extra food I could put underneath here, anything that I just don't get to a lot, like clothes, once a day I need to get in here, uh, I can access it this way. Something I can get into uh, not while I'm stealthing. So important, but this is going to be kind of obvious. If you're doing all this, you might draw some attention to yourself. Now, I could even get more space if I wanted to by completely removing one of these seats. Uh, once I take that seat out, it won't be in the way, so it won't be up. And also, I have all that space on the stow-and-go side. So, if I was to remove that other seat, I would have another cargo area without having to work around having a seat there. Now, let's talk about power. I don't have solar panels on my vehicle. Maybe someday that'll change, but I just don't find that I need it. Um, I go out in my van for maybe a week, two weeks at a time, and the, um, I'm generally going and seeing something during the day. I'm not spending all my time in the van. I can just do that at home if I want. I am going there because I want to experience something outside of the van. So I use the kind of power that I need for my phone. I use it for uh, cooking inside the van. That's the most I'll use the power for. So as far as my phone goes, I have this anchor. I believe this is like a 26,000, 26,800 uh, milliamp battery. And this can recharge my phone probably six, seven times. I don't know. I hardly ever see um, much of a dent when I charge my phone. I keep it plugged into this USB power port right here. When I'm driving around, it recharges it. I don't even think about it. It's just always charged. I do have a 110 inverter. It's built into the van. It came with the van. Um, you know, at first it seemed like that would be really handy, but I found that I just don't use it very much. I, the stuff that I would have is either USB powered or 12 volt powered. And I've ran an Xbox off of it. That's pretty much all I've used it for. I wouldn't pay extra for it. It was here when I got it. I just don't use it very much. I, I do have this 12 volt power plug in the back. So if you look back here, it has a nice handy cover on it. This 12 volt I will use for pretty much one thing. And that is a 12 volt kettle that I have that heats up water. So I can heat up like two cups of water. I can use that for reheating food. I can use it for Making those little dehydrated camp, freeze-dried camp meals, I think those are actually really good. And coffee. I live off of coffee. I have to have coffee. So I use those little Starbucks Vias, heat up some water just before boiling, and that's coffee if I don't have any other way of getting coffee. Now here's another great feature of this van. It has these built-in privacy shades on all the rear windows, except for the back. But... Now these are fine just to be used as a privacy shade. It does a pretty good job of reducing the light. Uh, but what I use it for mainly is these coverings. So I homemade these coverings. They're actually made out of Reflectix and dark gray felt. I use some 3M77 to attach the felt to the Reflectix. And for the most part, as you can see, it'll stay in there without these coverings. Uh, but I do worry that they might slip down. So I put these up and it's a little bit belt and suspenders, making sure that this stays there and I sleep well. I don't have to worry about somebody staring at me while I'm sleeping. Now let's talk storage. So in the back, there's a lot of storage. I have these cubbies right here two cup holders and just kind of a catch-all cubby. On the other side, I have another cup holder and another little cubby, it's shaped a little bit differently. What I'll keep back here is on this side, I'll always keep my keys and wallet in this cubby when I'm out stealthing. 
And it's always important to me to know exactly where my keys and wallet are at any given time. If something happens in the middle of the night and I need to get out of there, or if I want to set the alarm off, or if I just want to make sure everything is locked up tight, uh, or I want to remote start it, that's where my keys are. So they, when I climb in the back, that's where they go. And I always know where they're at. Uh, other kinds of storage in here. So because we have the split seating, there's a lot of storage back behind this seat. It goes down pretty far. Uh, I keep the bulk of my stuff back here, stuff that I don't need immediate access to stays in the back. There's more cup holders here in the doors. Both sides have cup holders. And this little handy spot, which is where I keep my little clips to keep these clipped. Another set of cup holders. There's also storage in here. And a whole bunch of storage up front. Another fantastic feature of this van, WeatherTech mats. So these mats cover the entire back of the van and any place where I might spill something, there is a mat. They clean up really easily. Simply wipe them down. Um, you can pull them out of the van completely and spray them down with a power washer or go to a self-serve car wash. And uh, it's nice. You don't have to worry about spilling chicken noodle soup all over your carpets. Just a great feature. I would recommend if you don't have some sort of mass in your van, think about putting something down or figure out how you're going to prevent that oopsie of spilling coffee or spilling soup or whatever from permanently damaging your van. Here's another handy feature. So I already talked about this sunroof, but this one right here, I can operate from the front. Unlike those, I have to go up all the way to the front to press the buttons. This one, if I'm just about to go to sleep and I wanna see the stars, I can do that. If I'm waking up in the morning and I want a little light, I can do that too. I can operate it, it's quiet and it's a great little feature. So I think this is a fantastic van. If you're focused on stealthing, you may not have all the creature comforts that you would have in other builds. If you have a cargo van, you can put in a kitchen sink in there. Literally, you could even have a shower in there. You're not gonna do that here. This is more about getting somewhere, having a comfortable, safe place to sleep, knowing you're not gonna have to worry about somebody knocking on the door um, at two in the morning telling you to move fantastic i love it so much i'm not sure i would do anything differently thanks for watching uh please don't forget to like and subscribe click the little bell you know how youtube works um i'm just getting started so just a like subscribe a bell click that could really help me out a lot thank you so much